to get started with making my Mod Podge pies, I am taking some cardstock. I used cream color for this. It's like from one of those manila folders. And I had used my one inch hole punch to cut out circles. I think I did maybe three or four layers for the bottom crust. I, I want to say that it was at least two to three. And now I'm taking that same cream cardstock and I'm taking my decorative scissors that has like the little squiggly things. I actually got these from Dollar Tree a couple years ago. And I'm using this for the pie crust because you know like most pie crusts have like some like squiggly decorations. So that is what I am going for. And I'm taking my Mod Podge and I'm going to glue the circles together and sandwich them. I also use my flat iron to go ahead and heat it up so it will dry faster and I'm taking my Mod Podge and I'm taking that squiggly cardstock and going all the way around the circle and my pie is pretty much complete I'm going to put this in the oven and let that glue of the Mod Podge like harden a little bit faster and so then I took it out of my oven do this at your own risk because I'm using a toaster oven that I use for my clay but anyways, I'm just going to wet my fingers and bend back the little squiggly lines because it was up straight and I want them to come out a little bit. Now I'm taking this um, folk art mustardy yellow color and I'm also dry brushing it on lightly to give the crust a golden finish. I'm also going to do this to the inside as well. But that is pretty much it for here for the pie crust. And you can go ahead and seal it with Mod Podge if you would like to. Now for the inside, for the inside of the pie crust, I think this one right here that I'm showing you is actually for the pecan pie. I had to have a nutmeg color by Apple Barrel and I also mixed in the Folk Art Orange to get this color. And I mixed in either, it was either um, matte Mod Podge or gloss Mod Podge, either way. I did a thick coat of this and then I just put it in my toaster oven and I let that harden and then I went over it with some other folk art paints to draw on my little pecans. Now this is the pumpkin pie and I'm doing the exact same thing except for I'm adding more orange to this to give it a pumpkin pie kind of color and I'm basically just like painting it on but I'm doing it in a very thick layer because this will harden over time but if you're impatient like me and you want to dry just a little bit faster put it in your toaster oven it's what I did um I mean like you can do it at your own risk of course um you don't have to you can totally let it air dry but it's still going to need air dry time even if you do put it in the toaster oven because it will be a little bit squishy but it's going to be okay. And so now I'm just taking scissors and I'm going to cut out a little slice. And it will show you how thick the custardy of the pumpkin actually is. So for this one, I tried to make like a cheesecake strawberry swirl. I messed up. <laughs> I messed up like really bad. Um, but I used the folk art. Um, I think it's called Moonlight. And I had mixed in the Mod Podge, of course, and I do like a heavy coat of the Mod Podge because it makes it like really thick and um, it makes it pop when it's dry. And it also gives it a nice finish too. And I'm taking the Folk Art Red Apple and I'm adding it into the middle, but I also use Mod Podge to like tint this, but also so it will like, I don't know, puff up a little bit. And then I'm putting more of that yellow. And then I'm just going to go in with the, um, I think it's Ceramma, Ceramic, it's, it's one of the pink ones that I have that's also the plaid paint, and I'm just like putting that in there. It turned into a hot mess, but I think it still turned out okay in the end, so it can be kind of like a strawberry pie, because it was supposed to be like a strawberry cheesecake anyway, but I went ahead and I did that, and I'm just using my little paper dotting needle thing tool that I got from Dollar Tree. It's so crusty, you guys. And I'm just trying to like make little swirls. Um, like I said, I had messed up, but it turned out okay. 